to describe a thought experiment game, and I want you to tell me how you would play this out. The game includes two players, player one, which will be you, and player two, another person. The way the game starts is that you have one dollar, and that is the pot of money. And on every turn, the player whose turn it is has two options. Either you can take all of the money in the pot for yourself, or you could give it to the other player, and then the pot of money increases by one dollar. So on your first turn, when you have the money, you could either take the one dollar for yourself, or you could give it to player two, and the pot will grow to two dollars. Then player two could either take the two dollars for themselves, or give it back to you, and the pot will grow to three dollars. This continues on and on and on until the pot grows to $100. At this point, player two will have the option to either take all of the money for themselves, the full $100, or they can decide to split it between the two of you and each of you will get $50. From a mathematical game theory perspective, the optimal move is for you on your first turn to just take the $1 and not even play the game out. The reason we could see this is that if the game was to get all the way to the end, player two would have the option between either taking $100 for themselves or taking $50 and splitting the other 50 with you. And since $100 is more than 50, they would, in their best chance, take the $100. So if you got to the $99 option and you had the chance to pass it back to player two, you would just know that player two would take the $100. So you wouldn't even give them that option. Therefore, you would take the $99. Player two, knowing this, wouldn't pass the $98 to you to give you the option to steal it from you. And this would continue on and on and on and on until you eventually get back that from player one on your first turn, you should never even play the game in the first place because it will always be optimal to steal from the other player. However, when I have experimented on this game with some of my students with extra credit instead of money, my students never end the game on the first turn, and in fact, sometimes they split and sometimes they betray each other about halfway through the game. So if you were in this game, what would you do?